in arid lands where the precipitation might not equal the amount of drawdown. So in other parts of the country and other parts of the world, you might have you know, more of that water budget being expressed over time in different precipitation patterns versus in southern Arizona. We don't see um, that much rainfall coming down, and so the, the balance of that water budget is especially sensitive. My studies looking at acid mine drainage have been using sediment dispersion models to track the fate and transport of acid mine drainage from abandoned mines in Patagonia. Typically in hydrology, the solution to pollution is dilution. And when you don't have uh, a lot of water to dilute the polluted water, then the polluted water is more polluted, uh, more condensed acid mine drainage phenomenon. Patagonia is in the Sonoida Creek watershed, which is a tributary of the Santa Cruz Basin. The water runs into the Santa Cruz River and, and up to Tubac, where there's important bird areas and other biodiversity habitat uh, for wildlife that you want to continue to support. And so other people depend on that as well as the town of Patagonia. The water in the Santa Cruz comes up through Tucson and there is regular flow from Nogales. The USGS has a study going on looking at the hydrogeochemistry of the mountains and really it's a very complex system underneath the mountains of Patagonia and we don't really have a very good understanding of, of what the impacts of historical mines and shafts have been, never mind what would be future explorations. And so given all of the different faults and fractures and aquifers that we still don't completely understand the connectivity 